signature course was started. And in 2013, the department got elevated as a postgraduate department with a MA program in English language and literature. Further, the department is waiting for its next upgradation as a recognized research center of the university. In the history of about 55 years, the department has produced hundreds of academicians and administrators, including our chief guest, Dr. Ajay Kumar, and the resource person for the next session, Dr. Roy P. Vittu, who have been rendering commendable service to humanity across the world. The department has also been engaged in significant outreach activities for equipping the various students of community around in the use of English language and in developing critical and creative thinking skills through readings of literature. The MOU with LTIF is worth mentioning in this context. The COVID lockdown has been a period of intense online activity for the department. We could provide our students and student community off campus of universities in general by providing video and audio lectures on common and core texts like perspectives, HM matters, and of humanities on YouTube, which was followed by more than 25,000 students. This international webinar is a next significant attempt at online learning and knowledge sharing. We're all going through a period of great crisis and the world is reeling under the attack of COVID-19 pandemic. Its repercussions are seen the world over and we are forced to shift our patterns of life, learning and teaching. And that explains why we, are, why we have shifted from seminars to webinar. And in this webinar, through this webinar, we're trying to address the changes that will be brought in the post pandemic era in language, literature and culture. Now let's begin the first session of this two day international webinar and I invite Dr. A.C. Srihari, Assistant Professor of our department, to deliver the welcome address. Welcome, sir. Sweetheart, sir. Srihari, sir, it's, it seems you are muted now. Please unmute yourself. Okay, thank you. Good morning, all of you. Hearty welcome to you, sir, Dr. Ajay Kumar PP, Pro Vice Chancellor, University of Kerala. Dr. Ajay Kumar has, to his credit, a book titled Interventions, Readings in Literature and Culture. And he is currently the editor of the journal Literature, an Indian response to literature a literary journal published from Trivandrum. The founder editor being Dr. P. K. Rajan, former vice chancellor of Kanur University. Dr. Ajay Kumar has his PhD in post-colonial dialectic in novels. Yes, they have started. He visited University of Western Ontario, Canada, University of Toronto, etc. as part of faculty enrichment program offered by Shastri Indo-Canadian Institute to conduct a study on culture 
literature interface. Multiculturalism and Canadian short fiction. Also, to his credit, he has done a UGC research project on ethnobiographies, representation of the other in Dalit autobiographies. He has engaged in teaching at various government colleges under collegiate education department, like Krishnamanan Memorial Government Women's College, Kano, and Government College, Alayrithatu, Kasavon. And he has been working as the director of the Institute of Distance Education, University of Kerala, before he assumed this post of the pro vice chancellor. Dr. Ajay Kumar is a gifted artist, and he has had a painting exhibition recently in Karnuki's hometown. He writes in Malayalam as well, and this is his latest article on film. And here is a Facebook post by him a week back on Pioneer College English Department, his alma mater. And being an acclaimed alumnus of our department, I welcome you, sir, to this international webinar. Then I welcome Dr. Premachandran Kiro, principal of our college, and also Dr. Sandosh Viyam, coordinator IQAC Pioneer College, and also Mr. A. Nishan, member syndicate, Kanur University and all the members of the Department of English and the participants and other dignitaries. Welcome once again, all of you. Um, Amrita, Amrita, I'm sorry to intervene. Uh, once again, putting a request to all the participants to switch off the video and mute themselves. Then again, uh, Srihari, sir, that uh, you made the, the PowerPoint you prepared were not visible since uh, it involves uh, the creative articulations of Ajay Kumar, sir, uh, in the form of images. I think we have to play it again. Srihari, sir, I hope I'm audible. I, sh I shall play it from here. Sandosh, please, that is why I have given it to you. Okay. Please do it. Is it. Can you see it now? Yes, sir. I hope it's visible. Okay. Yes, yeah, it's visible. visible. Yeah. These are the things that he mentioned, uh, his recent book, Intervention. So here, sir, you can comment. Uh, he, uh, Interventions and... Uh, uh, readings in literature and culture. This book contains articles um, related to literary theory, studies on fiction, media studies, and folk performance. The next uh, image is Litrich, and he's the editor of Litrich. And he has also been a gifted uh, artist and yes he has made a exhibition recently in Karnu. okay this is an article that he has written recently in Malayalam weekly and also he has published a FB post on our college. 
and welcome you sir once again over to you amrita thank you sir now i invite dr premachandran kiroth head of the department and principal of our college to deliver the presidential address hi amrita respected chief guest dr pp ajay kumar pro vice chancellor of kerala university also the prestigious alumnus of the department of english sri a nishant member kannu university syndicate dr vm santosh dr ac srihari mrs ratna prapa ms amrita vaiduri my dear colleagues all the participants of this webinar a warm good morning once again we went back to the dark age the darkness and the panic created by covid 19 is incomparable we were literally quarantined we don't know what may happen tomorrow but at the same time covid 19 gave us immense opportunities people all over the world started searching for an alternative our government is doing all possible measures to mitigate the damages caused by this pandemic when the lockdown began in the last week of march we were literally kept away from our academic activities a type of lethargy spread all over but we soon acclimatized with the new situation like using sanitizers and using masks we started attending webinars also the whole teaching fraternity was introduced to virtual learning and go Dr. Santosh, please switch off your uh, audio. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Mr. Prime Minister. Prime Minister. And the second stage of that meeting was. this department of the college should conduct at least some academic activities that is just to make the academic community alert let's say and 